brothers and sisters. Recently, in this documentary made by Word on Fire on Father Gadbury's journey, I shared it in Hot Reach. And it's about this journey, about this priest, um, his journey to priesthood, his journey through life, through immense tragedies with losing his sister and his father in a car accident that he was also in with them and being training through the Navy, etc., etc. And his his life is an extraordinary journey to priesthood. And you kind of see the, the humanity too of a priest in it, because sometimes, you know, we can have an image of a priest that is a bit far removed from life or that, we, you know, we can forget that they're human persons with human struggles as well, but with human likes and dislikes. And, you know, God chooses, um, you know, these men to to often be sometimes because of their weaknesses in their past or or their own journey so that they too could understand the weakness of others. And I think this is why the apostles were such broken men too and, and often um, people, men who were big sinners and the Lord gave grace to change their lives so that they too could be merciful because a bit of the heart of the priesthood is also a journey of, of, of carrying the mercy of God to others and leading people out of their guilt uh, to freedom. And this is what Christ wanted to bring freedom, you know, liberty from guilt and shame through his mercy and through his grace. And so these and so priests are real vessels, I think, to 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 dispense the mercy of God. And often we hear so much brokenness through confession and through through people coming and sharing their life. So I think as priests, we have a unique insight into the brokenness of people. And therefore, we tend to be, well, hopefully, because um, sometimes maybe we can be too understanding at times of, of weakness because we were, we're trying to be the mercy of God, you know. So sometimes we probably at times need to be a little bit more accountable um, for, 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 you know, to help people be accountable to their sinfulness. So it's a, it's a fine line trying to, to, to balance this between, you know, bestowing God's mercy and yet at the same time holding people accountable. And it's on this uh, whole area about accountability we'd like to speak a little bit about today. In that film with Father Gadbury, he said that when when he was in the military, the, the US military, they were taught that they were never to go into battle alone. That you always go in pairs or you will go with, you take someone with you into battle. You never go alone. And this is, and he said, this is a great principle for the spiritual life. And I want to speak about this today because in today's gospel for Sunday, we see the Lord, you know, sending the 72 out in pairs. So the Lord always sent his disciples out together, never alone, uh, never a one-on-one -on -one mission, but, but in pairs. And, 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 and in that, there's a great wisdom. And we could say that, you know, that we could take this as a big interpretation for life. And what it is, 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 is really based on the whole idea of spiritual friendship. Today before the gospel, the, the gospel acclamation, where we say the alleluia, alleluia, uh, it said that, I call you servants no longer, I call you friends. So friendship, spiritual friendship is at the heart of the gospel. This, but it's, 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 it's something that we need to kind of adjust our mind to based on what the world says friendship is. You know, the Facebook friendship or the, the superficial friendship of business or high society or low society, whatever you want to say. You know, the friendship that is, that, that is just kind of something at the surface. It's not, it's not the kind of spiritual friendship that I want to speak about and about this accountability. And I think spiritual friendship is, is really where you have a friend who, who has your best interests at heart. And in terms of this case, it's for you to love Jesus Christ with all your heart and for you to get to heaven. And a spiritual friend is one who, yes, you, you feel attracted to, you love their personality, you, you love the things about them, but more so is that you have this ability to, to, to make your friendship on Christ and that you love each other especially in view, or I should say solely in view of Christ, that, that, that the other person brings you to Jesus. And, and in bringing you to Jesus, uh, that friendship is quite deep and profound. And also the whole question of accountability comes into place. You know, spiritual friendships, uh, we really found it on a space where you give each other the space so the other person could, could correct you. 
So, you know, you have to make that space and say, you know, you have to, we have to humble ourselves and say to the, to a friend that we have that we consider a spiritual friend, um, to, to, you know, please, I give you the permission to point out some faults to me, to give me fraternal correction in a, in a loving way. But so, because often we cannot see ourselves, we cannot see our mistakes, our flaws. And, and so that's why it's an indispensable value to have a spiritual friend. St. Teresa of Avila said that, one of the greatest gifts God could give us in, in our life is a spiritual friend, someone who would help us on the way to salvation, someone who could spur us on to virtue, call us to higher things, to, to encourage each other to pray, and someone who, you know, is, is there to listen to our problems and worries, etc. But more than that, someone who can, you know, really hold us accountable and hold us um, in that place. So, so really, this is a gift that we have to pray for. We have to ask the Lord, Lord, I pray, please give me a spiritual friend. Or, or the friends that I have in my life, please make them spiritual friends that help us to love each other in view of Christ and spur each other onto virtue and to give each other the freedom and the space to, 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 for them to correct us in humility so that we could grow closer to the Lord.